book! Read my book! Yep. Do exactly what I say and you'll be rich! Rich, rich, rich! Compass! Hey, move! You're concerned I am the devil. Now get out of here. But this can't. I said get out of here. Yeah. This is an outrage. <laughs> I don't quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is poor, you know? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, are you gonna do right by this fella's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Okay, bud. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you? Some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver-tongued American betrayed and, and not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. Ah! Ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <clears throat> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! Enchanté! Hello, hello, sir. <laughs> okay, uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. My friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I 
can make you immortal. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see. I will power this boat. You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stooly. I watch them conspire, you morons. What? I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Uh, don't touch that. Use these ones to steer, and uh, this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships, and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. They can miss the explosion if they touch the bottom. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificates. Watch the mine. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the H.L. Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Houston Hub. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I saw... There. I'm gone for you. Even little boats can sink, okay? Please! Ha-ha! <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now, bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but... I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. <laughs> Let me just reload. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now, the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of park. Still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, you attempt to, at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train. The telegraph machine. The motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air, like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course. But what thing to fund? What an opportunity! No one is stupid enough to pass this up. Not even Dimwit here. Hey. You really look who rules the seas. Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. One more bang and boat go bye-bye. Please. Full proof. I'm... Reload. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of park. Still avoiding magnetic mines. No, oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rain. Look who rules the seas. Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. 
But you are not fools. And unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly parted. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well... This is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <coughs> I hope you will forgive my... Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, I, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say... Uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So... you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> And even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator we should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah.
me. Hope you've gone. Made it to the middle, Arthur. Freezing to death. In the south, in a swamp? This is not for me. Nor me. But we're alive. Well, Sean's not. Jenny, Mac, Davy. Always Are you ready for Tahiti, Mr. Thank you for your help with Miss Jackson. Uh, don't mention it, Miss Grimshaw. You're a fine man, Mr. Morgan. Sometimes at least. Thank you. I think. How you doing, Mrs. Edler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. Will you get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on. We need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come Robin with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? What the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take cover! The Driscoll boys are coming! Charles, you take the side doors there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go! Everyone accounted for. I think. Hey! 
I said it's everyone accounted for. I don't know. I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Go focus on my devotionals. On time, girl. Yeah. 
Morning, partner. Hey, forgive me. Make no difference. Help a blind man. Okay, here you are. I tell thee, bethink yourself before taking possession of another man's horse, for not all will go willingly. Well, okay then. Thank you, I guess. Let's go, girl. Are you still here?
You came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the guards. Picking up? Yep. 
I'm supposed to meet the early train to Saint Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. Must be Danbury. What? Will you be quiet? Need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. One about the oil near Wapiti. Hi. Danbury, think, man. Mind is a terrible thing to lose, especially on such a nice floor as this. You done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, nope. Danbury. Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Explosion came 
just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliged. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Okay then, girl. Yep. for a moment. The name's William. Arthur, you familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. I'm looking for a plant called Yarrow. <laughs> Let's see how... It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. You've been helpful. Thank you. You're a horseman, I know. Save it for bad injuries. Heaven forbid your horse is in trouble. You'll be glad you had it. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, Traveler. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. Yep.
shine, soldier. Here we are. Appreciate the ride. <laughs> See you around. I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Calloway and a rider called Levin. Drunk Boy Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in San Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. San Denis? On a riverboat? Oh, okay, then. I wouldn't drink here, though. Get on to San Denis and have you some salary. I can use a feller like you. You want to make some easy money? Come with me. I can't talk you. Go on, get. My bastard of a friend double-crossed me again, and I ain't gonna stand for it this time. So listen, he's staying at the nearby hotel. You rob him, we split the money. What do you say? Find someone else I ain't interested. Fine, suit yourself. You're lost, pal. Stay, girl. You're okay, girl. 